Hello, in today's video, I want to show you how to add a Facebook page plugin to your website. You've probably seen these things as you've journeyed across the internet, and that is what used to be known as a Facebook like box. Now it's changed the name and it's called a Facebook page plugin. Essentially, it links to your page on Facebook and it shows the recent activity shows who liked it and it also gives people the ability to like from your website rather than being on uh, Facebook itself. To add one of these we need to grab some code off Facebook and integrate it with our site. Let's go over to Facebook now. The page you need to go to is developers.facebook.com forward slash docs forward slash plugins page plugin. I'll obviously link that up in the video for you. Once you're there, uh, you add a few options. So you say what your Facebook page is. You can set some tabs. You can set the width and the height. So let's say 450. Um, if you put it in your sidebar and your sidebar is not very wide, you could set that page to 250 or something like that. We have some more options here. We can use a smaller header. Like so. You can hide the cover photo. You can remove these friend lists or friends' faces, rather, if you want to. And there's an option to make make it fit the container that it's saved in. I'll show you that later on. So that's what it'll look like. Once you've set your options, you need to get the code. There are two bits of code we need to, to install on our site. The first is some header code that will stay on that will be integrated into the header of your website. And then finally there's a bit of code where you want the actual Facebook page plugin to appear. So let's deal with this bit first. So copy that. So if we go to our website, go to Appearance, and then Editor. What we're looking for is the header.php file. Edit that file. I've already put the script in there, but what you're looking for is the section where it says body. Just before body, paste in the code. And that's the code there that I've pasted in already. If your theme has an option to paste code into a custom header area, use that instead rather than editing your actual theme files. My theme doesn't have that, so I've had to manually add it in. So once it's in, the next thing to do is to grab the actual code to where you want it to appear. So what I've done is I've added it into my sidebar so let's go to appearance widgets primary sidebar what I've done is I've added a text widget so if you've not done that before grab the text widget pull it up drop it where you want it to go and then I simply pasted that Facebook code and then save it like that. Then once you reload your sites, you'll get the Facebook page plugin appearing in your sidebar. So that's the end of this tutorial. <laughs> Why don't you come over and like me on Facebook? That would be much appreciated. Got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.